Before you begin your project, you want to make sure your stamping block is on a hard, sturdy surface. Then take your bottle opener and remove the blue film from both sides by taking your finger and scratching the edge until the film lifts up. Then pull in the opposite direction until the blue film is removed. This blue film is on your bottle opener to protect your metal from scratches while it's in the packaging. Once the blue film is removed, place your bottle opener on the stamping block and take two pieces of stamp tape and secure your bottle opener to the block. This will ensure that the bottle opener doesn't move while you're stamping. Then take a straight stamp guide out of your stamp guide book and place it in the center of the bottle opener. This stamp guide will act as a ruler and help you evenly space out your letters and align your stamp impression. Now using a pen and the guide mark, write your message directly onto the stamp guide and you can utilize every other guide mark to space out the word so it fills out the entire bottle opener surface. Then pull your first stamp out of your letter set. And when you're stamping with Impress Art stamps, you wanna make sure that the logo on the side of the stamp is facing you. You're going to hold the stamp towards the bottom of the stamp shank and lightly anchor your hand around the block onto your work surface. Then place the stamp on the bottle opener above the corresponding mark on the guide and lightly drag the stamp towards the guide mark until you feel the stamp catch the edge of the guide. Take your hammer and give it one hard hit. Again, you want to make sure that the Impress Art logo on the side of the stamp is facing you. You're going to hold the stamp towards the bottom of the stamp shank. Lightly drag it down towards the stamp guide. Feel that resistance. Hold it flat and firmly in place. Take the hammer and give it one hard hit. And you're going to follow the same technique to complete your desired word. Ideally, you would only want to hit the stamp once, but if you do get a half impression or a shallow impression, you can go back in and hit the stamp one more time, wiggle the stamp until it catches into the groove of the impression and locks into place and giving it one more hit. After you're done stamping, you'll remove the tape as well as a stamp guide. And to make your impression stand out, highlight the impressions on the bottle opener with stamp enamel marker. You'll wait three minutes, give or take, until the enamel dries completely. Once dry, take a paper towel and lightly wipe away the excess enamel from the surface of the bottle opener. Once the enamel is removed, take a split key ring and lift the end up of the ring slightly with your fingernail. Slide the bottle opener onto the ring, then continue to turn the ring and slide the bottle opener until it's attached. 